are at the um, Mormon Island Relocation Cemetery. Um, got Michael out here. He first told me about this probably six years ago. And when he told me, you know, there's grave, there's headstones up in Folsom with the word unknown niggas on it, I just like, man, I got to see that for myself. I don't believe that our government will, would actually, you know, relocate uh, black people and then put things like that on their headstones. So I came up here and I was shocked. So I'm going to give it to Mike and let Mike say a few words about it. Here rest many of the men and women who first saw the beauty and value of this land and chose to remain and build the El Dorado County we cherish today. We are welcome to visit this and other pioneer burial grounds for historical study, geological research, or a peaceful walk. Help us preserve these graves and markers for generations to come in California. Desecration of a cemetery is a felony. Well, what about desecration of a people? That's not a felony. That's not a felony. Mm, I just like to say a prayer. Um, I'm going to say a silent prayer because, you know, um, I want the spirit of um, the people who are buried here. Charles, so you can't say a silent prayer. The film ain't going to hear that. <laughs> well, we're going to ask the Almighty Creator to bless this documentary that it will bring attention to the cause of the people who for generations have become unknown niggas and these are not my words but the words that are written on the headstones of these people may their legacy bring a new determination among the people who are called by the name to move out of these graves and into the hearts of mankind, that there may be a recreation of an energy that will set a sloping generation into giants of magnitude proportion. These blessings we ask. Amen. 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 This, this grave, the first time I came here was at the invitation of a friend, uh, Chuck Keynes. And he was like, Michael, you, I'd like for you to come out here. And I didn't know what I was getting myself into. I came out here, it was a tour. Sue Silver, who was uh, at the time president of the California Cemetery Commission, or El Dorado, I'm not sure the title, but she was the president of a cemetery association. And it was probably about 40 people out here. I was the only person of African descent. And it was a tour explaining everything in the cemetery. Sue knows these folks like their family members, intimate details about the family because she's researched it. And it's not, you know, she built upon other folks as researched it. But here in the graves, you got nine in the Mormon Island Relocate, Relocation Cemetery, nine, actually 10 different cemeteries where folks have been moved here. They were buried originally somewhere else. They were moved here because of the dam being built and uh, the new graves that are here because they built Intel and a new on-ramp Prairie City. But like this tombstone here, it says unknown move from Salmon Falls Cemetery. Now Salmon Falls was a town and Salmon Falls had a, had a lot of black people in it. Because we know that because of the history. And you know there was a a, a a waterworks project that connected the communities, and we know from the different voting records, uh, you know they was voting, you know, for people that was helping black folks. So, you know, it was a, a progressive community. Here's another one. This one, this one has a name it has on a name it. on it. Well, at the grave site, see this one. This person, Mr. Hitchens, Hitchens. died on the eighth of November in 1850. So we know who he is, but he was moved from Salmon Falls. So who is Mr. Hitchie? How did he get here? Did he come by land? Did he come by sea? Here's another one. Ansel Ford. Mr. Ansel Ford. He was born in 1799. How we know that? How we know when he died? Well, there's records, there's documentation. And his tombstone was probably intact when they moved it. And see here, Abraham. This, his headstone was intact, but somehow over here it got towed up. Broken. 
you know, Abraham was from New York. He died. Okay, so if he's from New York, Abraham will, did, did, I mean, who else came with Abraham? So we have ship manifests. We could Craig, dock and, and find H. out. Craig. So even the unknown, you know, with, with modern technology, we can say, okay, well, who's in there? Is it a young girl? Is it a woman? You know, so you, by process of elimination, we say, okay, there's like only two women that fit this description that's on the ship that was with Craig when they came out here. So maybe this is who it is. So let's put this puzzle together. But, you know, this is something that people, you got to have a love to do this. So this is what Sue Silver and others were doing, and that's what the association was about. It's about being respectful, you know, in a cemetery, because these are actual human beings. that have been here, been dead for, these are earliest pioneers in the Gold Rush area. But we don't, as a people, give it much respect. Now this, to me, is just an amazing, amazing, this, this part, because, the Cannon family, we know that they're Jewish because, you know, they got the Star, Star David. David. And, you know, they're, they're not historic. But they're here. I mean, you know, 64. But I don't know what else is in here, but the point that... the whole section. Not only is it a section, it's a gated community. But you come over here, and the graves say unknown. Let's go to one that we can read. So you can see this one. It says, unknown, moved from Nigger Hill Cemetery by the U.S. government in 1954. N-I-G-G-E-R. So how come they have nigger here? Well, they have nigger hill here because when, <clears throat> in 1954, the Bureau of Reclamation, the, um, uh, the Department of Interior, uh, they all approved changing the name from Negro to nigger. So, you know, that's why I say nigger. The town, was, everybody know the town was Negro. People lived in the town. Leland Stanford was a grocery clerk there. They would mean the, the, the historical documentation. The, the school was called Negro Hill School. It wasn't nigger school. White people was living there. They ain't, ain't living in no town say nigger. Would nobody live in no town that said nigger? And black people would not set up a town and say, yes, this is nigger town.